From nationwide protests to the coronavirus pandemic, mental health issues are at an all-time high. And according to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, black Americans are 20 percent more likely to experience serious mental health problems than the general population. It's difficult for people of color, specifically supporters of the Black Lives Matter movement, to navigate difficult conversations in the workplace, among friends and family. We see family dynamics also as an issue, and um, that tendency to hold on to familiar values of what happens in this house stays in this house. So when we encounter mental health challenges, we tend to navigate those in silos versus reaching out for help. And Ashley Bryant, a psychotherapist, national speaker, and mental health advocate, says often black people don't get help because of distrust for health professionals in the community. That, along with her own mental health journey, is why Bryant founded Therapy in Color. I decided that I needed to go back to therapy for myself, and I had difficulties finding another therapist of color. And I was like, if it's hard for me, it's hard for everybody else, too. Therapy in Color links people with all kinds of mental health professionals who she says may better understand issues touching people of color. Now, not saying that, you know, whenever someone sees a therapist that's not a therapist of color, that that's always going to be the case. But I do find that for people of color, they're looking to connect with someone to have that um, somewhat of a shared experience. And it's an experience that during July, National Minority Health Awareness Month, can be honored in an effort to help heal. Theo Hayes, WBAL-TV 11 News.